City Line. Keep going. Keep going. It's all about fall comfort and what's more cozy than a nice sweater. Or if you yeah. need that little boost of dopamine, this is the way to go. We've got knitwear so soft you won't be able to keep your hands to yourself. It looks you, so soft. You put this over your it's pajamas so for school drop-off. No one's looking at your pajamas. <laughs> then, Pei Chen has the travel essentials to make you comfy and get you noticed. Who's that coming through? Oh, right? that's Timor with that's her nice Timor. bag. Later. Beauty expert Tracy P is offering extreme comfort to your dry skin. And we want to leave the crepe paper for, you know, the party streamers. Yeah. It's City Life with Tracy Moore. Yeah, you can sit down. Yeah. You can sit down. Go ahead, sit down. Oh, they're so polite. I love it. Welcome to City Line, everyone. Pumpkin lattes, cozy cardigans, flannels, and more. Today's show is all about fall, so let's embrace sweater weather and kick off the show with the latest in knitwear and stylist, Janice Meredith. Okay. We are getting comfy and cozy for this time of year, and there's nothing we like more than knits. But you would make the argument that knits are actually all year round. Get into them. Absolutely. It is impressive the technical um, advances we've made. Yes. So when you think of knits, maybe you're, it was like heavy, it was thick, it was like, you know, almost solid, yes. right? And now they're really more malleable, they're lighter. Like a summer knit is an amazing find, especially here where our evenings are a little bit colder. Yeah. Cooler, you want to layer those pieces up. And also that mindset of wearing, you know, getting pieces that are really transitional through all of the year and all of the seasons. Absolutely. It's totally doable. Yeah, I mean, look at this knit. There's a reason why you can kind of see my bra. It's thin, it's a thinner knit, and I want it that way. Like, you yes. want to be able to have thinner knits that can move and have some fun and movement and so you're going to show us all of that right now we're going to start yes. with sort of the iconic cardigan right yeah so it's a timeless it's a classic it's elegant but how you can wear it is what makes it amazing yeah. so this is from Evernew. it's really nice and nubby they also have a cream the gold buttons why nice it works for nubby. everyone yes is the clean collar yes is the buttons and they've got a great detail to it it really elevates it the pocket detail is down here not at your bust so it's going to flatter everyone mm -hmm. a nice clean sleeve and the length of it so this is a classic piece that in 20 years you could still be wearing absolutely how we're wearing it now is you know with this great textured like Huge. now we have this whole you know homage to chanel yeah. outfit with mm -hmm. a boot for work and then and if you're going out or just like bumming around, what you can that. do is have a denim with it and put a printed shirt underneath it. Mm. Just because it's a solid, mm -hmm. I'll actually just take it down. Sure. Um, just because the top is a solid doesn't mean, the sweaters, doesn't mean that you can't, you know, add something underneath it. Yeah. And then, you know, now it's a cardigan and a casual jean, have a little fun with it. We don't have to be so fussy, and this is where fashion is going. It's it's a lot more like you know layering pieces on and really reflecting what how best you want to project your out. I love that because you can do the full matching set, but you can also take it apart and do dressy, casual, all yes. of the things, and that's very much now. That's what's happening yes, right now. Yeah, that's super conscious. We're, we're yeah. aware of how much we're spending. We're aware about mm. what goes back out into the dumps yes. and how it's going to break down, yeah. which is the perfect segue to the next yes. piece. Oh, well, she is me. Yes. That is, that's speaking my language. That's my girl. She's sleek but comfortable because knits are very comfy. Yes. You know, they and look so dressed up, but they're comfy. And also, they just can really curve and hug. Yes. And then you can play around with that. So this is a new capsule collection from a Canadian company called And Or Collective. Love. And the coolest thing is that it is all sustainably and human-collected fibers. Okay. And then it is digitally manufactured. Oh. So that means that there's going to be less waste. Right? Okay. Because they can finish it. They can do small runs. Yeah. So they started this capsule collection with five pieces. But watch this. We've got this, yeah. deep V. Boom, we have a mock neck. Nice. We've got our slit on the skirt. Yeah. Boom, we have a straight. Like, look at how that makes it completely different. Four different things you oh, can do oh, with right, these let me two do pieces. This. I can. Now we got five. Oh, and now because you can do, can a do dress. this. 
sweet, right? We got yes. this going on. Yeah. So many options. So this is definitely an investment, but again, the wearability yeah. is what we want to be thinking about and the goodness to the environment. And I will say this for all of you that are looking at this like, um, this is a knit and it's a light color. It's thick. Yes. I mean, I don't really care if my cellulite shows anymore. No. I'm over it. Yeah. But in terms of like a panty line that That's you will exactly. not be able to see, no. this is going to do that. And I look for that in a knit, especially if it's the bottom half of my yeah, body. Yeah, and I love the wide oh, waistband thick. so you can move it where you yes. want it to be. You can put it up a little bit higher. Yeah. yeah. And that's, we want to have fun. Start playing with our pieces. Totally. Okay, so speaking of playing... I love this set, this set because it's, it's just so light and it's not what you expect in fall. Exactly. I right? love an unexpected. And talk about technology and how we can make knits happen. It's a printed knit. It's that's a pleated beautiful. knit. Yeah. And it's going to stay. That's gorgeous. So that's so much fun. It's nice and, and weighty. And uh -huh. again, I think sets, matching sets are going to, they're integral part of our uh, wardrobe. They're not going anywhere because yeah. again, that wearability of mixing and matching. This is from Reformation. I love the top because we're seeing, even though it's oversized, it's a like a malleable fabric. Yeah, it's not too big It's oversized and where we want it, which is a slouchiness, slouchiness here mm -hmm. Not in the length and that's a great V for oversized to like make it work proportional wise for your body lovely And we're seeing so many of the our shirts cut There so it's nice yes. that you have some other options for us when yes. it comes to knits <laughs> Like where's the other half of the top? I know you want I to go to stores and it's like, like is there a bottom? But your pants are coming up to here. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. And just, you know, as long as it's like a little bit longer than this. Yes. You yes. know? So no, it's nice sure. to have a little bit of material. Yeah. But yeah, this, this is beautiful because of the color. That saturated pink. It's a Barbie. I know. Homage. And we have to, whether you can do that like luxe way, it's calming, or if you yeah. need that little boost of dopamine, this is the way to go. And we talk about the dressing equations. Uh -huh. It doesn't always have to be like the, the boot matches the jacket. Go with the jacket and the sweater. Yeah. So this this is the the coat again. This is from Pink oh, Martini, nice. yeah. and they have a thousand of them. Like the 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 suppleness of it is so good. I just I have and, to. And I'm telling it you, it looks you, so soft. You put this over your it's pajamas so for school drop off. No one's looking at your pajamas. <laughs> They're looking at your your coat again. Right. And I love pairing a, this fuchsia with the chocolate brown. It's nice. the way to go. It's softer than a black, and it's lovely. Yes. It gives yes. it just that rich luxe. So beautiful knits, all yes. the knits, and all year long. Can I just really quickly yes. talk about your look? Yes. Knits. Uh, Uniqlo also, like, I know we know it for all of the staples. Yeah. But in the back is where they have these, like, fashion pieces. Oh. And this is Uniqlo. Oh. Um, and, and one last thing, the bustiers, this is the evolution into this vest and this knit bustier. So yeah. everyone, it's going to fit on everyone. Yeah. And play with it, like, layer things, have fun with it. Wear oh, our clothes. Yeah. That's very good. It's Wear your clothes. That's your tagline, right? <laughs> okay, we're going from warm wool to warm drinks. Jyoti Nanra is here to make us some cozy bevies throughout the show. Let's head over to the kitchen. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. So you're going to be making a few of these. Your first one that we're going to make is what? Okay, we're going to start off with our caramel mocha. Ooh. Which I think you're going to love. You know I'm going to love. It's a caramel mocha. It's so good. <laughs> it's coffee. It's caramelly. It's delicious. Yes. Okay. So I've got my whole milk and cocoa powder. It's come to a simmer here. This is going to act as our creamer for our coffee. Nice. So I'm going to have you go ahead and mm -hmm. pour in our caramel syrup. So that is this? Yes. But I've, I've measured it out for you. Oh, well, thank you for that. No problem. Now, <laughs> am I putting this in both of the, these We'll uh, pop mugs? it in here. Okay. But you could totally do um, the syrup in your mugs if you yeah. want to sort of control the sweetness. Got it. But hey, we're oh going big. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. So good, right? Delicious. Okay, and then I'll have you throw in this vanilla and the salt. The salt just balances out that chocolate. It just elevates the caramel. It's so good. I hear that all the time. You want a little so bit of salt with your chocolate because it's going to be like bam with the chocolate, Always. with yes. the taste of the chocolate. Amazing. Right? So this is actually ready. Oh, it's so already cute. come to a simmer. Let's pop these in. I'll do mine. You so do this yours. is what? This is just espresso. Okay. Ooh, wow. We, that was pretty good. Not bad. We eh? didn't spill it. We didn't spill it. That's amazing. It. We're very good. I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> so espresso in there, and now the good stuff. And now the good Look stuff. Look at how easily this comes together, though. Like this is a quick little drink that you can do. And it's I mean, so easy. We talk about romanticizing our lives. This would romanticize my day every day. My existence. For sure. My yeah. existence. My whole existence. Amazing. And then we can go ahead and add 
a little bit of whip. I'll add the whip. You can add the caramel. I actually made the caramel. It is. She Jesus. made the caramel. I made the caramel. Because that's how Joti Store rolls. Store works really well. I want to make you proud, but I don't know. Yeah? No, that is amazing. Okay. okay. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You get extra because you're love. so awesome. Look at this. What's it called again? And I'm going to drink it it's while you tell them. It's a caramel mocha. And it's mm. extra and it's delicious. And everyone's going to love it. And it gives you the mustache that you it want. It does. <laughs> now, <you> she's go. <laughs> got more cozy drinks to share later in the show. I can't wait. For now, we're taking a break. It's totally worth the mustache. We'll be right back. <laughs> Coming up, Pei Chen has everything you're going to need to travel in comfort, so listen up. What? Noise-canceling capabilities. No, these are really good when she put them on. absolutely just drown out that noise yeah. so that you can enjoy your movie or whatever you're watching. fall time and fall comfort isn't complete without the night essentials the right essentials i promise you i don't need glasses <laughs> to help us travel comfortably Paige chen is here with her faves <laughs> give her some love Hi. you love to travel i love to travel what is one thing you cannot live without on a plane um, I need something for music. So for me, yes. I always have my AirPods because they're lightweight, easy to pack, charge quickly, yeah. fantastic. But for perhaps a longer trip, or if you want something like with noise canceling capabilities, Amen. AirPods Max. Planes are loud. They're very loud. People are talking louder than they yes. should. Babies are crying. Yeah. Things are happening. For me, it's the cart that goes by and always oh bumps into um, <laughs> into your arm. Yes. It's like clank, clank, clank. It's so loud. something that goes over your head, Those great for comfort. Pretty. And also, if you do have a longer flight and you like to have a little nap, like it, it can get a little bit uncomfortable when something's like pushing into your ear because yeah. I am like the side sleeper. Me too. So having something like this is a great trade-up when mm -hmm. you're traveling, but also if you work from home, have a sh shared open space at the office, for yeah. example, like you probably won't even hear me now because there's noise-canceling capabilities. No, these are really good once you put them on. absolutely just drown out that noise yeah. so that you can enjoy your movie or whatever you're watching. Um, and also what's great is you can get up to 20 hours of listening time on one charge. Oh. Really great for those long travel days. You Beautiful. don't have to worry about something, you know, just like dying in the middle of the flight. Yeah. So that's an and essential. And they're pretty. And they're pretty and they and come in pretty. multiple colors. Uh, as a little bit of an extra item to consider, perhaps, is a footrest. So this oh, actually, you, bougie. <laughs> you know, some of us just need extra comfort. Yeah. So this would go uh, over the tray. Once you put the tray down in front of you, you can adjust the height. So if you want to like extend your feet a little bit, it works better if you I have like a little bit of depth. So maybe like on a train, you might have a bit more leg room. Yeah. But I mean, even for kids too, right? Because their legs are just dangling. Yes. You can adjust this so that there's some comfort and they can stick their, their feet out. It's so, like, tough for your extra. back sometimes when you can't get your feet in the right position. Yes. So it is nice to have something to rest them on. Now, something else, which I think yeah. is essential, very inexpensive, lightweight, multi-purpose. So this is a clip that you can attach to most things. So it can be even on your kitchen counter, yeah. your cabinet, your desk, um, for your phone. So a oh. lot of people, don't you find now everyone's bringing like their phones onto the plane to watch like their movies and oh, stuff? Oh, totally. And this is everyone's posture on the phone, which drives me mental. I know. They're like this. It's and I'm like, so do you bad. have rubber necks or have yeah. you just never paid out of pocket for a chiropractor? <laughs> so one of the options, so I mean, truly. Yeah, like, um, seriously, are you rich? Why are so you watching it like that? Stop it. It's expensive to get a chiropractor. So here you go. You can watch. Oh, your, that's so good. Like, and also, if you're at the gate and you're waiting and your flight's been delayed yes. four hours, you can attach it to the handle of your, um, like your carry-on luggage, for example. Yeah. So for me, Love it. super useful. I've been using a pillow. Yeah. That's what I use as my little thing. Yes. Yeah, but this is way better. Okay, moving right along. Yes, so this is gorgeous. Luggage, right? Mm -hmm. So just wanted to give you an idea. Um, this is from Monos. This is the new color. It's the sage green. Oh, it's um, I'm pretty. a big fan of the Carry On Pro because it has this compartment in front, which makes a lot of your stuff really accessible. So yep. especially going through security, having your iPad, your uh, phone, and your things in there that you need to take out instead of opening up the whole suitcase. That's amazing. Makes your snacks accessible as yes. well. And just for just to give you a size comparison, yes. um, this is the large check-in. So on a longer trip, a nice lightweight durable piece of luggage is great or maybe yeah. you're an overpacker in which case I don't judge you either yeah that's me yeah I'm okay. getting better and better every year <laughs> I will say but this is nice and light so love that 
Uh, what about these? So this is Monty & Co. These are four Toronto friends who wanted to find something like stylish, a luxury good, yeah. uh, luxury travel bag. So they created their own. They're made in Toronto and Montreal, made of lovely Italian wool. They also have Ooh. leather bags as well. So this is the everyday tote. Not yeah. only is it a great travel bag, but it's a great everyday like commuter bag mm -hmm. to the office, to your meetings, for example. And then that for, one is isn't this nice? a weekend trip oh. or maybe to the gym, yeah. um, you've got the wool weekender. So I love this. It's high quality mm -hmm. and uh, that it's made locally is fantastic. Yes. You know what? You're too pretty for my gym. <laughs> You're too pretty so for like, my who's gym. Who's that coming through? Oh, right? that's Timor with that's her nice Timor. bag. Look yes. at it. It's gorgeous. <laughs> okay. Are these all the essentials you need? Well, the first of all, the air tags. <sighs> yes. Crucial I these days. Feel, exactly. Yeah. I feel like last summer was the summer everyone was like, air tags, we need them. And to be honest, it is a very inexpensive way to give you peace of mind. They yeah. are very affordable. You can buy yeah. them in one or buy a pack of four, which I would suggest. Pop it into your bag, and it just gives you a little bit more access to information. Because if your bag goes missing or it never left the airport and you're on a long-distance call in another country, mm -hmm. those charges, that time, really racks up. So yes. it at least can offer you a, a little bit of comfort if yes. your suitcase goes missing, which happens to a lot of people these days. Yes, <laughs> so it's happening a lot. And uh, just in terms of like some onboard like beauty essentials, for me mm -hmm. it's just more like basic skincare. So having a nice face mist I think is yeah. great. Tata Harper is a bit more of a luxurious brand, but mm -hmm. I just love it because when you're on a plane, like who doesn't just like want a little moisture? Can you give me some? Yes. Mm. She calls it her beauty snack. It smells good. Isn't it great? Because our faces love snacks too. It's hydrating. It's very dry up there. Yes. And also look into getting travel size, um, uh, you know, items for your favorite piece of, what am I saying? Like lotions your favorite lotions or, and skincare. Yeah. So, you know, hand cream, serums, that sort of thing. If you're doing carry on, that little bag does not hold a lot. So I even started swapping out some things like shampoo bars, conditioner bars. Oh, that can just you. free up real estate in that little bag. Yes. Um, so things like a, like a balm instead of a liquid moisturizer, oh, nice. for example, yeah. or a powder cleanser that you mix with water. Those are great options too. And they look all good, like green, right? Good packaging, what have you. Yes. Um, good shoes. So here are, this is the Under Armour Slip Speed. Mm. And what I love about these is they have this convertible heel, so it's easy to oh. like slip in and out when you're going through security, for example, so you're not fussing with tying and yes. untying your shoes. Also on the plane, I like to take my shoes off and just keep my feet on my shoes. Me too. I do not touch that carpet. Yeah, me too. Um, but then if you're getting up and like to the bathroom and what have you, like Shove it's fussy, so it's nice to be able to slip them on and off, but also a great shoe for travel. Yes. And if you do train, you like to run, you whatever, yes. you know, there's an option for you. You pack one shoe and they're washable. The way they scream at you at the airport, take your shoes off! Yeah. It's like, oh my gosh, no, I need something like me. that I can just get off quickly? <laughs> like yes. I'm scared. Yes. Okay, what do we have here? So this is from Doer. So I'm really a big fan of this Vancouver-based brand. They've got some really great, comfortable pieces. Mm -hmm. I love this performance crew it's got this little zipper here so you can tuck in like your id or something you need to keep hidden perhaps who knows really? um and then just these really great joggers which i think you can dress up or down but fantastic for travel this is the new seasonal sand color Ooh. and i just like i mean i they're one of my favorite pants so i would love it if you could experience them too well why don't we see if we can do that we love those pants so all of you in the audience get to experience the world's most comfortable pants for yourself with a gift card from doer for one free pair of pants and redeemable in store. Thank you, Kay. For those of you at home, scan the QR code on your screen to shop everything that Pay has shown us. I want it all. Thank you. Okay, up next, it's time for another cozy drink. So we're gonna be going off to the kitchen with Joti. I can't wait to see what she's given us this time. The first one blew me away. What have we got up now? Okay, so this one is a pumpkin spice white hot chocolate trace. Oh, yeah. I know you say you love pumpkin spice. I'm going to try to change your mind. Yeah, the white chocolate might help sway me. And there's real <laughs> pumpkin in it, which is, okay. oh, just makes, it's so nice and sweet. Makes the difference too, right? Huge difference. So in this saucepan, I've already simmered up my whole milk, my heavy cream, real pumpkin puree, not mm. pumpkin pie filling, Right. pumpkin puree. There's okay. a huge difference between the two, so we need to make sure we're using pumpkin puree. Make sure you're using the yes. real stuff. Okay. Condensed milk, and I'm going to have you add in the white chocolate, which is the star. Do you want all of it in there? Let's just do it all. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah. And I'm, oh my gosh. Oh, it's fine. I'm sorry. We make messes. That's 
how you too. know you're making something delicious. But it's like you're wearing a cream colored blouse. Well, I already got coffee on it. So. Okay, yeah. all right. I just it's don't want to mess christened. it up anymore. <laughs> so that probably, like, it melts pretty quickly, I imagine. It's literally melted in. Oh, beautiful. Just like that. It's so smooth. And now I'm just gonna. I think the thing about PSL that sometimes, and that's pumpkin spice latte, everyone, if you're wondering about the acronym, that sometimes turns people off is there is sometimes a bit of an artificial uh, taste. So using the real puree, pumpkin puree, will make it probably so much richer. And also not over spicing it. Like I think yeah. pumpkin pie has spice, but when, yeah. it's when we over spice it, it gets very overwhelming. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, do you wanna start Gosh, you're a pro. with? Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can do it like you did it. You totally can. Yes, girl. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Oh. <laughs> Stay up. Uh, I wanted to, never mind. Okay, I wanted to have a little point, but um, this is delicious. I know that you haven't been drinking them. I'm gonna give one to the audience. I'm not gonna touch it. You drink that one though. Okay. More City Line after the break. Stay with us. It fell a bit. It fell a bit. But try it. Try it. Try it. Yeah. Thank you. Go for it if you can drink that. Guys, we're going to break, so you gotta clap now. Everyone has to clap. <laughs> Coming up, do or do not, there is no try when it comes to taking care of your skin this fall. Okay, so two days you won't look like Yoda anymore. <laughs> <laughs> skin this fall season is exactly what we need. We need it all the time. So our beauty expert, Tracy P, is here with foolproof ways to keep your skin baby soft during the colder months. So TP, how would you describe your daily skincare routine if you had to use like one word? Mm, efficient. It's efficient. Efficient. You get it done. I get it done. Okay, no so what is how helping you out? I like efficient as well because I'm very lazy. You know this. Yes, I, I know need this it to be done already. quickly and effectively. Uh -huh. What are you using that helps? Okay, so uh, you know this. I've said this a million times, Tracy. Mm -hmm. I am a huge, huge, huge fan of serums. Yes. I believe yes. that serums can, like, they're, they're, they do magic. Mm -hmm. They can change the texture of just the skin. Mm -hmm. They can change the quality of your skin. And quite a, a lot of people are, like, skipping that step, and I don't understand I don't why. anymore, because you put me in my place. You're like, serum, <laughs> serum, serum. So now I do a serum. Serums are yes. everything. I just, like, I, I, they, I actually think they're the most important step in your skincare routine, and here's why. Mm -hmm. Because of all the skincare products that you're using, serums have the unique ability to penetrate into the deepest layers of the skin, therefore making it the most effective or efficient yes. uh, product that you are using, okay? okay? So if you're not using serum, I got one here for you. Okay. So over here, you can try this out. This is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Rescue Serum, Tracy. Okay. So this is the sister to their number one selling serum, the Advanced Night Repair. So when the temperatures get cooler mm -hmm. our skin gets drier yeah our skin gets redder mm. well not my skin doesn't get redder <laughs> <laughs> but everybody else's skin gets i get a little red but red. i'm sort of so yellow you get dry yeah. and red and this in particular <laughs> this serum in particular it reduces the appearance of ongoing redness and red post um acne marks okay as well as a visible irritation caused by cosmetic procedures. Yeah. So this is really going to help with calming the skin. Mm -hmm. It's really going to help with hydrating the skin, which is what you want at this time of the year, yeah. as well as it's going to just make the skin feel more supple. And when we move into the colder months, our skin loses life. We look dull, yes. right? This is really going to help with making your skin look brighter and more radiant. It's very soft and smooth. Yes, yes, it yes. feels incredible on. And that's what it will do to your face. Uh, I highly recommend it. Okay, let's talk about dry skin. Okay, so not only is your face is dry, but the rest of your body gets dry, right? Yeah. And when your skin gets dry, it texturally changes and it gets rough. Mm -hmm. That too is not comfortable. Yeah. And when it gets rough, it looks older, okay. right? <laughs> You're really selling it. Right? I'm like, okay, what else? <laughs> That's true. So as like, our skin ages, like we lose the ability to retain moisture. Yeah. And then it will start to look a little bit more like finely wrinkled, thin, and dry. Kind of like crepe paper. Right. Okay, and we want to leave the crepe paper for you 
you know, the party streamers. Yeah. Okay, so over here we got the Gold Bond Crepe Corrector. This is a body lotion, Tracy. So it's clinically proven to visibly improve crepey skin just in two days. Ooh. Okay, so in two days you won't look like Yoda anymore. <laughs> Sold. So you can try this, Tracy. You'll feel how buttery smooth it is. It's hypoallergenic as well as fragrance-free. And what I love about it, it has a unique smoothing concentrate made with nourishing omega fatty acids, botanicals, mm -hmm. as well as antioxidants. So all those things that are just going nice. to give your skin that comfort and that relief. And as well, it visibly firms and plumps dry aging skin. So check, check, and check. And it feels really good. Yeah. And it has no scent. No which scent. Which a lot of people are into that. Exactly. Yeah. Especially if you want to calm the skin. Sometimes yeah. fragrances can irritate the skin. So. Absolutely. Okay. Fantastic. Moving right along, what have we got here? Okay, so I'm going to poll the audience, okay? Okay. Uh, a show of hands. How many of you use an eye cream in your skincare routine? <laughs> you see what I'm saying. Okay. Oh my gosh! You see? Hold on, is it one of you? One. One person. I'm not even judging because look where my hands are. Look at her hands. I yeah. don't use it either and we need to. The reason I'm asking this is because I had a conversation with a staffer here, a few staffers, and they were like, we don't use eye creams. Yeah. I asked more and more and I realized no one's using them, which like to my surprise. Yeah. You guys really need to use them. It helps prevent fine lines. Uh -huh. Also the elasticity around the eyes and making them look brighter. Mm. It's not just okay to use a body lotion or just a face lotion around the eyes. Here's why. The skin around the eyes is very, very thin. Yeah. You need to use a product that's specific for the eye, okay? Okay. So, you guys need to get on board with an eye cream. Here Got we go. It. We have the Caudalie Premier Crew Eye Cream. This okay. is the one I personally use, Tracy. This really boosts hydration and enhances radiance around the eyes. Gives you that mm. relief that you're looking for. Now, that's my favorite part about it is that metal yeah. uh, applicator. When you're applying it, it really cools and it puffs the eye area. That is so So you cool. guys get your ticket, get on board the mm. eye cream train. Don't get left at the station. Okay. Uh, come on. You and her <laughs> are on One it. The lady. rest of us need to get aboard. To you. <laughs> okay, let's Choo -choo. not forget our, uh, our feet. Our yes. feet need help always. Yes, always. Mm -hmm. So over here we have the Body Shops Cooling Foot Lotion. It is infused with peppermint oil. So we all know what peppermint does really cools, gives you that cooling sensation. Yes. Really nice feeling and for the relief at the end of a long day if your feet are like exhausted. Yes. And this was made by experts with active feet in mind, so it's really made to soothe Ooh. and refresh. And it smells like candy canes. It smells so good. It smells like candy canes. Delicious. So it's really good for like tired feet at the end of the day. Very nice. And you know what? Give it up if you like her dress. Isn't that nice? <laughs> some more cozy looks for fall. But then we move into robes. Okay. I know you're so a robe robes person. are a vibe. Yes. Welcome back. We are all about fall on today's show. And Janice is back with even more ways to stay warm and snuggly. So you're going to help us transition into the colder months and stay cozy and have some fun. Are you an always cold or always hot person? Typically a cooler person. Yeah. So this is my jam. Yes. This is all of my world. Like I do have the summer blanket and then mm -hmm. I transition to a winter. I transition yes. my pillows. I transition visually, like aesthetically. I also love the seasons. Yes. I like them to change. Okay. It makes my year go lovely. Like I, I might feel a little stale if it actually if stayed we the same. Yeah, stayed the same. Yeah, so I like it. Yeah, we like it. We like having a little bit of a of a change in season. So yes. let's start with what you've brought. Like cozy, comfy. Cozy. So mm -hmm. I love a blanket. My as I said, my kids are always wrapping themselves up. And so it doesn't have to be like a Hudson's Bay wool blanket. We right. can start off with something, a lighter knit, but then oh, what it nice. is, it's the colors. This is super, but it's yeah. light, but it's just enough yeah. for like a September, October. But you're getting the darker hues, and so that kind right. of is your transition. And then talking about hues, and you can wear it as a scarf. Oh my gosh, this is so yes. comfy. Yes. Yes. I have to have a blanket, even though I'm having hot flashes these days, and I still have to have a blanket. Because you're like, either you're in shorts because you're having a hot flash, yes. or then all of a sudden it goes away, and then you need the blanket. That's that's right. I'm always like the feet out. That's feet my out. feet out. And then that's good. That yeah. saves everything. Okay, this And then one. talking about hues, like we know we have the mm. these nubby ones. You can have them year round, but changing mm. up the color, like that is such an autumnal 
Yes. Autumn, autumnal. Autum autumnal. Yes. Whatever. Color. It feels good. Yes. It feels really good. And then here we have like, a, you know, it's oh, that heavier knit. Nice. And so again, it's going heavier and it's got the stronger color. So that's really indicative of the winter. Yeah. And then the faux fur, which you can. I live with this. Yes. And all the time. We have tons of them. Exactly. And the key is the size. Yes. Right? We don't, like, they're not going across our bed. They're just little bits. But lay them out and use them. Don't buy them to look pretty. No, 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 use no. Use them. Use them all. Yes. Use them all. Okay, moving right along. What do we have here? We're for... talking about feet mm -hmm. outer in. So, if you are somebody who has a massive slobbering dog like I do. I know Ozzy <laughs> doesn't slobber. I've had He's starting to be a slobberer. Oh, no. Just recently. I don't know if it's age or whatever it is. But he didn't yeah. slobber when he was with me. He oh. convinced me it was going to be okay. And then I got my dog who slobbers. So I'm sorry. I, I go from a flip-flop, because <laughs> yeah. we can't wear bare feet yes uh, from a flip-flop to something a little bit more uh you know solid on the sturdy fur, fur. Yes. yeah and i love when it doesn't have a back to it because then when you are hot you just pull your feet out pull it back in that's right um those are cute yes but talking about oh, like the socks. reading sock like these are fantastic and they do have this oh, non-slip nice. on the bottom so that's what you need to pay attention to to make sure you can move about yes um and here's something a little bit more fun a little mm -hmm. faux and again we have the solid bottom and something again you know it's definitely more fall yeah but it's a great transition and indigo again the reading sock it's lined it's surely oh they're so good with those actually can you show us the in I'll show yeah, them the here. insides again look at how nice that is yeah so throw those on with your comfy blanket and get your book. Yes, sit out on your buy. porch. Sit on but your porch. if these ones are a little bit too long, this is what's new. They have a shorter cut now, which I love. Nice. And it does have the anti-slip dots on the bottom, so that's to pay attention to. Lovely. So the reading sock into socks for fall. Okay, so like, what are these frilly things? Okay, so <laughs> I am more, I am not a sock person, and we go from the winter, from the summer having like the sneaker with the no-show. Yeah. Then you go into other socks for fall you're not a sock person but i've seen you wear those because this is socks a with fashion heels. sock got it this is a fashion got sock. It. no but she's I, a fashion girl. i also get slammed a lot for my fashion socks you keep Please going i'm actually just going to i'm going to wear those um la vie en rose slippers oh please. yeah please thank do. you Let's i need stick. a little bit of a change in heel right now I with my it. socks yes. i don't care about fashion right now okay go ahead keep going <laughs> Oh. So your sneakers with socks, we've yeah. seen them wearing with a little bit of a, more of a height and a crew. Yes. Have fun with it. You can have a little bit of a color introduced. Oh, that's cute. Um, have something fun. This has got some prints in the back. My kids have actually gotten me socks that have swear words, so I didn't bring any, <laughs> I didn't bring any of those. But I, <laughs> I was at a soccer game once, and the mom sitting beside me had her sneakers and her jeans, and peeking out when she was sitting there, she had a sparkly sock. Oh, cute. And I was like, love it. This is a reminder. It's just a sock, people. Yeah. It is like a $5, $10 way to have a little bit of personality. That's right. So definitely do it. Nice. Obviously, you can get into your prints yeah. and a cashmere blend if you really want to get some luxe. But then we move into robes. I okay, know you're so a robe robes person. are a vibe. Yes. Okay, so we're going to start like what you, you're going to have a little bit heavier of a um, cut, a longer, a more of a winter print. Yep. If you want something like that. Then we can go into, this is actually from Livian Rose. It's a, uh, like a lounging cardigan. Oh, nice. And they have a set, they have pieces to match with it. Washable, comfy. You can, you know, go out and about and not be ashamed about what you're wearing. Right. Now, I know <laughs> that you borrow things from um, Leo. Yeah, I sure I do. know you did. This mm -hmm. is a men's robe that I would totally wear. It's like a worn sweatshirt. Oh, that's good. I love it, and I love the oversizedness of it. Yeah. So we should totally do it. And then That's this, my favorite. It's like a, but feel it. It's like a down <gasps> parka, but it's so light. It's, it's so beautiful. soft. It just has that look, but it isn't, it's not as heavy as it looks. And this yeah. is another Livian Rose. It's lovely. I say shower, lotion, that. Yes. Nothing on and underneath. The, that's and amazing. The and these. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna head to the kitchen because we're doing warm and cozy drinks. Jyoti, what are we making this time? Okay, Trace, we are making a chai London fog. Now, you've obviously had a London fog before, right? Obviously, I have. <laughs> okay, so London fogs are traditionally made with an Earl Grey or um, like a bergamot tea. Yes. But we are doing a chai. And Ooh. it's not chai tea, it's chai. It's just chai, yes, just so you just know. just chai. Because chai is the way you say tea. Tea. So, so don't like, say tea. So if you say tea. chai tea, it's like tea tea. Right. Which we don't want to do. Right. Okay, so I've transferred my chai here into my French press. This just it's makes gorgeous. straining so much easier. Mm -hmm. You're pushing it down. I've infused my chai tea bags with more ginger, 
fennel seeds, cardamom. So this is spicy. This is how I grew up drinking my chai. Nice. Yeah. So good. It just warms up the soul. All of the good things are in there, all which of the is good beautiful. Things. Even stuff that, I mean, it's good for illness. Like, like ginger. I mean, the ginger and all of that Even stuff the is great. So yeah. before we pour this out, can I just have you pour some of that vanilla syrup in here? Oh, this. And measure with your heart however much you want. And you want this in, um, oh, why'd you do this to me? Okay, oh, I opened it. Um, put it in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Joti, I'm going to look weak. Perfect. Okay, how about that? And then I have this hand frother here. So this is milk that I've already heated up. Nice. This it's just gonna give us that nice frothy like cafe feel to our milk. I like that you put this in the milk though. That's that's delicious. It just infuses the milk, yeah. right? It just like lets it it lets everything sort of meld together beautifully. So that's nice. infused. I'm gonna pop our chai in there. And now some people like a little more chai, some people like a little less. Mm -hmm. I like equal parts, so we'll do equal parts. Chai to milk? So chai to milk. Okay. And then, do you want to go ahead and pour? Oh, okay, sure. So do we want, do we generally want the uh, milk to stay at the top? No, oh, no it's you just going to be, yeah, it's mix. just a delicious, milky Gosh, that looks tea. Good. Yeah, for anyone that doesn't love coffee or hot chocolate. Can we do any of this? We can. That's chai spice if you want to sprinkle a little bit on top. That's just ground cardamom and all of that beautiful stuff. Cheers. Cheers. You've done an incredible job with these drinks. Well, give it up for Joe T. We're taking a break. <laughs> Coming up, it all goes off the rails with our final fall drink option. The, the finishing touch is yes. whiskey. Ooh, and we're on okay. the bottom. Well, this, the whole bottle. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> Shine bright with City Life. It is a vibe. For a fresh take on fashion. That one's got my name on it. Food. These ingredients are screaming spring. And decor. Let's pick this whole thing up and put it in my living room. It's the perfect way to brighten your day. Literally light up your morning. Wow is right, honey. Wow is right. City Law. Weekdays. Only on City TV. Joti's gonna make us another drink, but we're also gonna have a bit of a chat. So all of us are here. You're doing an apple cider now. We're doing a spiked apple cider. Oh, spiked? Yeah. So, so is that like, why we invited all of our friends? <laughs> we did. Okay. I want everyone to have a drink tonight. It's a little treat. Today, Lovely. not tonight. No. <laughs> drink today. Now. 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 Oh, just <laughs> okay. So this is a spiked apple cider. It's so perfect for the fall once you've gone yes. apple picking. It starts off with a fresh apple cider, and then we add some orange juice, cranberry juice, honey, mm. cinnamon, um, star anise. I've added some cloves. It's so warm and so good. Nice. And the, the, the finishing touch is yes. whiskey. Ooh, And we're adding okay. a whole bottle. Well, this the whole bottle? What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, where, where do I put it? You can just... Here? Just yes. joking. <laughs> Okay, so oh the whole thing, eh? The whole thing. Tracy, it's a small Tracy, bottle. Tracy P doesn't drink, so she's gonna be on the table tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, what's next? So I've already got this simmered and infused, uh -huh. so all those spices really come through. If I could just have you hold this sieve for me, please. Let me tell you, Jyoti has the most pretty equipment, gear, tools, toys. Like I love it all. Even the French press, it's gorgeous. Accoutrements. Accoutrements. That is it. Okay, so I, <laughs> you want to strain it because you have all of the star anise and you have all of the stuff in there. You do, and this is a little bit of a process, but it's okay. <laughs> it's do the French have it. French people stopped watching City Line because? <laughs> Why does she keep doing that? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> and now, okay. so in each mug, I've got a lemon slice and yes. cinnamon. Lovely. And I'm just While you're pouring those drinks, my friend, wow. I want to talk to the experts about comfort or the opposite of. Because today has all been about cozy comfort, but I want to get into your psychology now and ask about your most uncomfortable moments. It's good to share embarrassing tales because it bonds us all. <laughs> Tracy P, do you have a time that you ever felt uncomfortable? I would say most times you, you probably feel pretty good with you know your surroundings and your environment, whatever. Have you ever felt super uncomfortable? I've had a few, many, many, many uh, moments where Thanks, I was son. uncomfortable. Uh -huh. uh, you know this story. Uh, it happened here at work with a co-worker. Uh-uh. Uh, so... <laughs> I know a few stories. Can't wait to hear the one you get. Go um, ahead. So, um, 
<laughs> she was wearing a ring and it had string wrapped <laughs> around the ring and I just assumed it was something like her kid made her or something and I went, nice ring. <laughs> and she stopped and she she stopped and she was embarrassed and I realized, uh oh, what like what I say? And then she's like, oh yeah, I just put the string around it because it's too loose. When my husband gets more money, he's gonna get me. He's gonna, he's gonna like get it smaller. I wanted the floor to open up and suck me into the floor. I was like, Scotty, beat me up. I didn't know what day it was. I didn't know my name. What I, was like, oh. I was like, and she was my friend too. I was like, oh my God. Like, I, I didn't know what to do with myself. I had no words. I just kept saying, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I was like, do I quit? What do I do? You drink. I, you drink. Have a sip, everybody. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, Janice, okay. do you have an uncomfortable moment? Okay, two parts. First off, I have actually naturally always <laughs> uncomfortable. I've never, my entire life, I felt uncomfortable. Okay. Anytime the teacher called me, I'd feel uncomfortable. But this prompted a story that came to memory. It's one time, like, I like to mill around when other segments are being filmed, and I did have to go to the bathroom, so I went in the hallway back there to the bathroom, and the door says, like, it's locked or locked. Yes. Occupied or on, are available, I think. Yes. And it was, I checked, and it was available, and I walk in, and there was a, a gentleman from the audience <laughs> sitting on his phone oh. and I was like Nat can't be in the audience like Nat can't be here because eventually he's gonna come back here and I'm just sitting in the back and I'm like and I had to come and do my segment and I was really like I <laughs> so hold on Hi, Tracy I gotta go but did you say anything to him were you like oh sorry and, and did he say anything to you he totally apologized and I was just like <laughs> girl oh my goodness thank yeah. you for getting candid with us everyone hey i'm sorry we ran out of time but you're probably happy i did let's go to break we got more coming up stay with us it's time to join the party we want to shower you with fun prizes and unbelievable surprises are you ready for this head to citylight.tv slash tickets and see the show you love come to life to cityline.tv and click on the makeover tab. She rediscovered herself. It's your time to fly with Cityline. weeks ago I was lucky enough to go to Disneyland Resort in California with a few of our experts and it is the most magical place on earth. We had so much fun so we're sending one lucky City Line viewer and three of their loved ones to go. You're, they're gonna go so just three more days until we reveal the winner live in show of a four night five day vacation to Disneyland Resort in California. Tune in this Thursday. The magic is next level. I cannot wait to see who wins this trip. And that is it for today's show. A big, big thank you to our incredible experts. Great information on the show today. And for all